returning welcome back sis so as you guys can see by the title today I will be showing you how to make this affordable firewall this is my new backdrop for my clients when I'm finished with their hair for those who have been keeping up with my videos I think about two videos ago it's my intro to entrepreneur blog and I showed you guys that I was building my beauty room and this was one of the things that I built and it was very inexpensive I've been looking for flower walls for my beauty room all over and they've been ranging from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars and I'm like no we're not doing that we are entrepreneurs we can do things on our own and I can and will build my own wall and that's exactly what I did so I went on YouTube and I saw a diff few different videos a lot of girls did it different ways I'm gonna show you guys how I did it it was very easy I'll show you guys everything that I purchased to make it and how it came out this way this neon light that you see i actually got it from amazon i felt like it was a perfect touch to the flower wall since i only did all off white or this, this is milky but i did all milky and i decided to add this in for a little pop all you need to build a flower wall is a base some people have used picture frames others used empty mirrors um but i wanted mine taller than me so i decided to go to home depot and they had this foam board it was actually eight by four feet um the eight feet was too tall so i had to cut it down to seven but this is still really tall for me this is taller than me i'm by four <laughs> so in total i bought 11 packs of 100 flowers each so that's 1100 flowers of 1100 flowers that i put on here it took me hours but it was very worth it and it was cheap so who doesn't like a bargain so as well it was very inexpensive to make with everything in total i probably spent a little under 300 dollars, but that still is a big difference compared to a thousand um one thing i also did want to mention for this neon light i actually connected it to a wireless remote control so I can use this remote to turn it on and off instead of having to go back and click the switch every time that I wanted to turn on the neon light. But yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys this tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, let me know what you think below. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for your patience and get your popcorn and keep watching for the tutorial, okay? Okay guys, so here is the poly shield that I will be using today. This will be my base for my flower wall. But first, it is way too tall, so I need to measure from the floor to the ceiling so I can see how tall I need it to be and where I need to cut it. Um, I measured about seven feet to the ceiling, so I went ahead and measured that on the foam board and I made a line. Then I placed it down so that I can make a precise straight line. After that, I grabbed a pair of scissors and a knife and I just used the knife to make a perforation in the foam board and it didn't cut all the way through and that's where the scissors came in handy. As you can see, it's a little flappy still. So I just took the scissors on the sharp side and I just literally, first I tried to cut and then I was like, wait, these are scissors, I can just pull them down. So I just use the scissors and pull it down. And there you go. We took a whole foot off and now it's the size that I want. And I'm just gonna put it up against the wall to size it up and it's perfect, I love it. So putting it back down and now let's get on to gluing these flowers. As the hot glue is getting ready, I purchased about five packs of the Lighting Sky Milky white flowers i thought that was enough but you will see soon that it wasn't and i basically just went right into it using the 
back of the flower, I placed a little bit of glue right in the center. You don't need too much. That little bit of glue stuck it right on and it was perfect. So I'm just gonna speed it up here because you guys get the gist. This is a very tedious process. And here I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. Here you go. I'm upside down, placing the glue in a little circle, and then putting it down. So see guys, anyone can do this. It makes no sense spending over $1,000 on a flower wall that you can make entirely yourself. YouTube is here for us creators to show our viewers and watchers, you know, the potential of what they can do in life. and. I'm going to make sure that my page contains all the resources you guys need to become successful. So we're all done with the first pack and now we're on to the second one. I'm going to pause the video here and show you guys where I'm at currently. So this is day two. As you can see, this is what the five packs brought me to. Um, when I was finished, I had to order six more packs. So that's 11 packs of 100 each. So that totaled 1,100 flowers. And that was enough to fill this wall. So obviously, if you're making a wall that's taller, you would need more. If you're making a wall that's smaller, you would need less. But definitely make sure you order more than you think just so that you don't have to separate the days that it takes to finish this project. So I know you guys still see some of the blue spots, but in the end, I'm going to fill some of those up. But yeah, it's coming all together. As I was doing it, I was so happy with the outcome and how easy this was. It only took me in total about two to three hours to complete, which isn't bad at all. I didn't mind the time with the amount of money that I'd be saving on getting this made by someone else. But here we are at the last touches i'm adding the last few rows of flowers it's all coming together and make sure when you're placing the flowers you're literally squishing them so that you can't see anything behind like i did this is my first time guys i'm still learning it's not perfect i'm not perfect no one's perfect but as you can see we're all done and i'm going in and adding in flowers where I see any spaces of white or blue. Here's the back of the foam board. It is aluminum on the back. So for those who don't want to use the white and blue part, you can use the back part or you can use whichever side you want and just paint it a background color. But the way I did it came out perfectly fine. And here it is, we are all done. This is so gorgeous. For those who plan to use different colors, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can put white on the top, blue on the bottom, or you could just do a whole rainbow of different colored flowers. I will leave the Amazon link below to the flowers that I use. If you guys wanted to use them as well, they have tons of different colors other than the milky white that I use. So definitely make sure and check them out. Here is the neon light that I purchased from Amazon. It is a bad bitch, you know, giving me bad bitch vibes. Obviously, it's not going to just sit on the flower wall. So I had to upholster it and see where I want it to hang from. And then I put a hole into the foam board, went to the back and made the hole a little bigger. Then I turned the foam board back around and put the 
cord to the neon light into that hole. And there it is, so cute. Now I still didn't know how to hang it. However, Walmart has these five inch bamboo lollipop sticks that I used for dipping strawberry into chocolate. And I literally just pushed the stick into the foam right underneath the side and it stayed perfectly fine. And I only used two of them. And then I connected the cord to a extension cord and I plugged it into my wireless remote. And here we have it. This is so cute and the neon sign is optional. Without it, I spent under $200. I'll leave everything below more detailed so you can see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment below what you think of it and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Ooh.